everyone and welcome to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style. My name is Jane and I'd just like to say first of all thank you so much to all my subscribers. I really do appreciate your support and I love all your comments so please do keep them coming in. And if you're new here and you like crochet and you like some sewing and you like anything with a bit of shabby chic, a little bit of vintage style added to it, this is the perfect channel for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos, all the tutorials, all my video logs that I do bring out on a weekly basis and then you won't miss anything. So today it's not a tutorial, it's just a quick um, video diary of what I've been making this week and I just wanted to show you my latest creation which is literally hot off my crochet hook last night and I'm going to do a tutorial on how I made it but I just wanted to show you the finished result because I couldn't wait <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you because I'm quite pleased with it. So if you want to grab a coffee and join me for a 10 minute cosy chat I would love for you to join me. say I'm just going to show you what I've been up to this week and namely this latest design that I've been working on. Um, I'm still struggling for a name for this creation so if anybody's got any suggestions on a name for it please pop your suggestions in the comments box below and I'd love to hear what you all think. Any ideas at all for this and then I can get the PDF pattern um, completed and give it a name. So that would be good if you want to um, join in with that. I've been working on this since late January, February, early February. I bought the wool at the same time as when I did my video on my crochet ruffle snug. When I use the Shapey's Wanderlust yarn to do that ruffle shoulder snug, I'll put the link for that video up there if you haven't already seen it. So I bought the wool at the same time as that and this yarn that I used for this poncho um, style shoulder wrap uh, is the Signet Boho Spirit Yarn and it, this colour combination, it's um, a colour changing yarn as you can see and this colour is the Karma, Karma shade and I absolutely love the colours that come out of this and I just love the colours and the shades, they're very old fashioned vintage muted colours it's got like the burnt orange, it's got that lovely oak, ochre, ochre gold, old fashioned gold lovely greens and then that lovely greeny blue and then obviously we've got some uh, like a stone colour and then the brown so it's absolutely gorgeous colours because then it's going to go with lots of things in my wardrobe too it's something I can just throw on and I know it's going to go with lots of things. Now when I designed it, obviously this is January, February, I was hoping to get it done in January, February because it's still the winter months because now we're here in May. I've totally failed on that one but here we are in May but today it's absolutely freezing here in England so I could quite easily go out and wear it. It would keep me warm today so there you go, that's England for you. So obviously this is in the Boho Signet yarn but you could also make it in a lovely light summer cotton yarn and be perfect for popping on over a t-shirt or over a vest when the nights get a little bit chilly or a little bit cooler or when you're going on your holidays and just something for the evening you know when you want to pop something on over your shoulders this would be perfect and literally you could just take the one and it would be perfect for on a night time and it'll complement obviously if you picked a neutral colour and it would probably complement all your summer holiday outfits for a night time it would be perfect for that but as I say I started this in January and February and I got I got off to great I got off to a great start no problem at all I had the idea in my head and I thought yeah I'm going to do another shoulder type snug because I do love my shoulder snugs um, but obviously I wanted to do something with a little bit of a variation on the shoulder snug shape it's just two rows of the pattern that's all it takes so really simple to do but I just I just got halfway through it and I don't know whether it was the yarn or I wasn't happy with the shape 
or I don't I, I can't really pinpoint what what it was but I just like lost lost my direction I suppose in a way so I thought I'll put it to one side and I'll go and work on something else and then I'll come back to this and then I'll get it finished so here we are in May I have been picking it up and then putting it back down and I've been doing other things and I thought well I better get it finished because we're in May and this is really a winter design so I picked it up yesterday uh, and I thought right I'm going to finish it well and truly finish it today which I did I finished it last night so I don't know what the stumbling block was because I normally get an idea, get the design, jot it down, design it, make it up, do a tutorial for you guys and then do the PDF pattern. Fairly straightforward. Normally can do it maybe within a week to two weeks but I had the idea jotted down, I had the design in my design book, I knew I had the pattern and um, what I wanted to do but just, just, I don't know, it just wasn't happening for me. So, but it did last night, so I finished it. But originally what I was going to do, and I'll just quickly show you, I was going to join it here, because it's basically two rectangles and it's joined together. But I was going to add, I'll just show you, like, a granny square section, little granny squares. But I didn't like it, and it just wasn't happening, so that went. So then I thought, maybe pick out some of the colours that are in here. So then I was going to like maybe add like this tomato colour. This is Stylecraft Double Knit and this is the tomato shade. And I thought, oh, that might bring out that burnt orange. And then I got the mustard, which I thought would make that colour there pop like this like this colour here maybe pop and then I thought I'd go for the storm blue which would bring out the blue but none of them I just again wasn't really too so they were the three colours but again I just thought they were too loud on their own and then I thought well maybe do the granny squares in a combination of the three. So I made a little granny square just to see what that would look like and in like in a, a strip but I wasn't, no I just thought it was too much, too much colour in all this colour so that was the end of that and then um, so I scrapped the whole idea of having the granny squares there and I just thought right just go back to the drawing board what had I originally designed and the design was just to stitch it up here and do a pretty trim so that's what I did and then I just finished off I picked out the stone colour because I didn't want anything too loud and I thought the stone would be neutral, more neutral as well for matching with other things in my wardrobe. So in the end I went for the stone which is on the edge in here and on the edge in there and that is the parchment. That's the style craft in the parchment colour shading and that's what I've used and I've just gone for a lovely simple fan design on the edge and on the neck and I was really happy with that really happy and I knew as soon as I did it that's how I wanted it to be so I don't know why I went off kilt because this is really what the designer had back in January but for some reason I went off off on a tangent I suppose trying to create something a little bit more livelier than what it was and I, sh I knew I shouldn't have done that because it's that's why I'm here in May <laughs> trying to finish it off now but I'm really happy with it now it's finished so I'll just quickly show you what it looks like so and the beauty of this design is I've done it so you can wear it two ways so you can wear it as a poncho like I've got here so it creates like a v-neck and I'll just stand up so there is the poncho this way with the, like the poncho shape with the v going down at the front and then again show you at the back which I really like but then you also can turn it round so it's sideways on I think I've got it right and then you've got the drape at the side 
open at the back so it's like straight across the back there so yeah so I'm really pleased at long last I've got it finished and I just like I say I just need a name to give it so I can get the PDF pattern uh, completed and published for you as well and then you can download it too if you feel you need a paper pattern to follow along I will also do the full tutorial as well I'll probably do it in a lovely uh, summer cotton uh, yarn and then it'll just show you the difference where you can use it between a winter outfit or a spring and a summer outfit and that's quite adaptable too so so it's quite a versatile piece as well so you can wear it two ways and you can make it in a winter wool yarn or you can make it in a nice summer cotton weight yarn and then you've got that adaptability so it really is good for that too I've also popped a post up on my Instagram page at Loopy Mabel and if you can think of a name and you want to add it there too just pop on over to Instagram and you can leave you if you've got any suggestions for the name for this pattern then please feel free to pop it on over there as well that'll be absolutely fine I've just also just my latest my last video if you recall my last two videos that I've just completed as well that I just uploaded was for that vintage style collar and then the woolly embroidery to add to it afterwards if you haven't seen that video yet this is the collar that I made vintage style collar and then I did a separate tutorial on, on how to add the pretty wool embroidery so following on from that I know you like the collar designs and I know you like um, prettiness to go around your neck I followed on from that and then I made a Peter Pan collar so I'm also going to uh, be uploading a video for the Peter Pan collar but I'll just quickly show you it uh, it's so pretty I haven't had time to add the button to this yet uh, but if you pop on again on my Instagram account you'll see pictures of the collar so there we go that's a pretty Peter Pan type collar just obviously to go around your neck and I did put, put uh, a poll on there which button did you prefer was it the wooden button or the mother of pearl button and I think the majority went for mother of pearl I was going to go for the wooden button but I might put the mother of pearl on instead I'm not sure but the beauty of these collars is you can make them in all different colours and you can add any button that you like whatever you fancy and um, so I will be doing a tutorial uh, for the Peter Pan collar so watch out for that too um, as I say if you didn't catch the video for the vintage style collar I'll put the link for that in the up there somewhere for you as well you can catch that it's really good and the um, wool embroidery is so addicted I don't know whether any of you have tried it yet but I once I once I started I did the two collars I absolutely loved it and the, the beauty about the wool embroidery is you only need a little bit of yarn so you can just literally go through your you literally go through your wool basket and you can just use a tiny bit and you just let your imagination run wild I absolutely love that I just drew a little design on a piece of paper but you know you just literally can create what you want and it's so pretty and so effective so that I really enjoyed doing that so um, if you've never tried it I definitely recommend take a look at the tutorial I did for that woolly tattoo I think it's also called definitely recommend have a go and try that because it really is fun so yeah I think that's it so far um, just a brief update on my um, pledge that I made to myself in a few videos ago that I am just going to have a me made year which means I'm going to make all my obviously crochet I'm going to knit all my own cardigans as well I'm going to do my own dressmaking so I'm going to have a go at making a wardrobe for this year and I'm going to upcycle what I've got or I'm going to recycle what I've got um, I may buy things from the charity shop but I'm not buying anything new at all this year I'm going to darn, I've got my darning mushroom out so I'm going to darn any holes that I get in my socks um, and I'm going to do put patches on sheets if there's a hole in the sheets in the bed linen I'm going to patch make it pretty I'm not going to throw anything away this year so I'm doing quite well so far uh, as I say well I've got this to add to my wardrobe now and this is going to go with quite a lot of things um, complement the colours of my wardrobe so this is going to be perfect I made a lovely cotton blouse I also made that chambray tunic that I did in a previous video I'll put the link for that to show you what I meant then I up cycled a sweatshirt and I added um, a chambray skirt to that so I'm doing quite well so far this year and I have been to the shops 
and I've looked but I haven't bought and I am not going to buy anything and actually I'm quite enjoying this little pledge um, because it's quite fun. So I shall keep you posted on how I'm getting on with my Me Made Year but I am enjoying it so far and if you haven't tried it why not try? Why not upcycle and recycle and make do? Mend and make do I think that's what they say because it really is quite fun. Uh, but I think that's it so far so if you can think of a really good name for this new pattern I would really appreciate it because obviously I need to get the PDF pattern completed so, but I will get the video tutorial for how to make this up in the next week or so too so watch this space for that but like I say if you haven't already subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and then you will be kept up to date but if you like this video please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and then there's also the notification bell and then you won't miss out on anything that I do bring out uh, but as I always say, until the next time, please take care and happy crochet.